If you haven't been living under a rock this year, you know that Barbie has been taking the world by storm. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do three iconic Barbie hairstyles for Halloween. So first things first, with the iconic blonde hair, I'm going to be taking Donna Bella clip-in hair extensions just to make her hair look a little bit fuller. My favorite way to install clip-in extensions is to evenly section out the hair and then I'm going to be taking my clear elastic and taking a tiny little section and tying it off so the clip-in extension has something to grip onto and the extensions will not fall out at any point during the night. Some things that you're going to want to have to complete this look are clear elastics, a rat tail comb. We use Donabella clip-ins, but you can use any sort of clip-ins that work best for your hair. Um, you also are going to want a heat protectant because we are going to be using heat on your hair. And then in this video, I used a Babyliss curling iron that is one and one fourth just to give a really pretty blowout look. One thing that you really want to make sure of is that your clip-ins are very secure in the hair. That is why you always want to tie it down with a little elastic before just to give it something to grip on. But you really want to make sure that your clips are tightly secured in there. Once your extensions are secured in the hair, I am going to be using Perfect Defense by Moroccan Oil. It's available on Rebel Femme Shop, so if you want to purchase it, you can tap the description below and buy it there. And then I'm going to be taking my curling iron and just giving her some loose kind of Barbie-esque blowout waves. In all of our inspiration pictures for Barbie, they all had a really loose bombshell blowout look. None of them were really tight. So to create a bigger, looser look, you're gonna want to pick a bigger barrel. If you only have a small barrel, that's fine. But for this specific hairstyle, you wanna go with a bigger barrel. One thing to note when you are curling to create a really bombshell, loose blowout, you're gonna wanna always make sure that your barrel is horizontal and not vertical. By doing a vertical curl, it's going to stretch the hair too much and it's not going to give you this Barbie-esque look. You're going to want to make sure that it's always horizontal and that's going to give it the bounciness that is Barbie. When I was curling my model, I used Perfect Defense by Moroccan Oil. I love that one because it is aerosol, it's super easy to apply, and it has a heat protectant of 450 degrees, but it has no hold. So my model's hair does hold curl but if your hair does not hold any curl then i would probably opt for something a little bit different such as the kenra thermal styling spray or kenra hot spray because they both have a really high hold it's basically putting hairspray on your hair before curling it and that's going to help it last all night both of those products are available on rebel femme shop which you can access through the link in the description below so once I kind of have my blowout curls down, I'm going to continue doing that around the rest of the hair, flipping them into submission, and you can see that it's gonna give me a really pretty nice wave as I'm curling it. And again, you wanna make sure that you're doing this all in the same direction to really accentuate that beautiful wave that you're gonna get. So once I'm done curling each section, I'm going to go in with a finishing spray. You can use any finishing spray, but this one is by Loma. I love this one because it smells amazing and it's pretty strong so it will help your curls last all night. I am going to go in with a finishing spray versus like a texturizing spray or a medium hold spray because I really want the curl to be locked in. So 
as you are curling around the face, there are a couple things that you do want to keep in mind still. So first things first, make sure the hair is going over the barrel because as you can see, it's still going to flip away from the face, which is going to give it a really pretty windswept bombshell look versus going under is going to give it a 1920s kind of old Hollywood vibe look, which is not really what we're going for. So again, the position is everything by making it horizontal. It's going to give it more of a blowout look. So after spraying it with some perfect medium spray, I'm going to gently brush it out. You have to be careful because of the clip-ins. You don't want to be too rough and pull too much of the curl out, but you do want to make sure that you're getting all of the loose ends and making kind of all smooth together. So I'm using my Fermar brush for that. So now to get into the iconic Barbie hairstyle, the half up, half down, I'm going to be taking the top half of her hair and smoothing it out with some perfect medium spray and a brush. And I'm taking it all the way up to the crown of her head and right in the back of her ear. She does have some Carolink extensions, so I do have to play around with it and kind of hide them a little bit. But if you don't have any hair extensions up there, then you obviously don't have to worry about that. So once I am happy with my section, I'm going to smooth out as much frizz as I can with my Fermar brush. And then I'm going to just tie it off with a little elastic. And that's going to give me that voluminous half up, half down look. And it's going to be really easy to take out at the end of the night. Nothing super crazy with a bunch of bobby pins or anything. So to just smooth out any little flyaways, I'm going to be taking my rat tail comb and my texturizing taffy. This is my favorite product for getting rid of any flyaways without being too tacky. You can either use this with your rat tail comb or your fingers, but it's a really great way to just smooth out anything for this look, or you can do it in your everyday hairstyle as well because it's not super heavy. And then I'm going to be taking my leftover clip-ins and wrapping it around the ponytail to give it the true Barbie-esque ponytail look. So to secure this clip-in, I'm taking one of the clips and securing it on top, and then I'm just gonna take the rest and wrap it around to make it look as inconspicuous as possible. And then at the very end, I'm going to be taking a piece and wrapping it around the band so that we don't see any of the extension. And then just taking the same curling iron as before, I'm going to marry the extensions and her natural hair together just to finish off the look. And 
this is the final result of the half up half down Barbie look. If you would try this look out for Halloween, make sure you comment down below. Okay, moving on to the next look is going to be her iconic Barbie ponytail. So one little tip I have for ponytails is if you're going to be using clip-in extensions, you can actually take them out and flip them upside down and install them that way so that there's no weird lumps and bumps when you're trying to create a smooth ponytail. So I did that off camera for you guys, um, but it's pretty easy. All you have to do is flip your head upside down and just kind of clip them in that way so that it doesn't get all weird when you flip your head back over. So one thing that you're gonna wanna do to make sure you have a really sleek, smooth ponytail is take advantage of the high hold hairsprays. I use the Luma one and some sort of brush. You really wanna make sure all of those flyaways are really, really smooth. And then I split her front section in half. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a swoop and wrap it around her ponytail to hide those clip-in extensions. And one thing that you're really going to want to make sure to use is definitely a bunch of bobby pins. They are going to be your best friend for the night, so don't be afraid to use as many as you need. One little tip that I have is to just wiggle the bobby pin in your section, and that's going to have it stick a lot better. If your hair is not thick enough or long enough to take it from the front section, don't be afraid to take a little piece from your ponytail to wrap around the band as well. That's just gonna make it look a lot fuller. And then do not forget to finish off with the high hold hairspray. And then I like to take my rat tail comb just to kind of put everything in place and smooth it out once again. And once you're happy with how your ponytail is looking, you can go ahead and recurl the ends Barbie's hair is kind of more flippy, so if you want to take a big curling iron just to kind of give some bounce to the ends, I would totally recommend doing that. If your ponytail is still not as full as you'd like, you can always tease just the ends slightly just to make it look a little bit fuller. So this is the final result of the iconic Barbie ponytail. So make sure you comment down below whether you like the bouncy blowout, the half up half down, or the iconic Barbie ponytail. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.